Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Photoshop, we can use the Shape tools located in the toolbox to create various vector shapes in our image. When you create a vector shape in an image, it will be created in its own shape layer. Having familiarized ourselves with how layers and layer masks work earlier in the tutorial, this concept shouldn't be too hard to grasp. When you create a new shape with one of the shape tools, it creates a new shape layer in the layers panel. The layer is then filled with the currently selected foreground color, although we can specify and change the fill as needed. And the outline of that shape that's drawn on the layer is actually stored as a linked vector mask that is linked to the layer, thus restricting the display of the layer to the pattern stored in the linked vector mask. As such, we can then draw multiple shapes on a single layer, adding to our original shapes drawn on the vector mask for a single layer. You can even determine how overlapping shapes in a shape layer are to interact with one another. To create a new shape layer with a shape in it, right-click the Shape Tool button in the toolbox. It's located right here, and then select which of the shapes you'd like to draw. Give it a click and you'll see up in the Options bar that our options change. So let's take a look at all the different options that we have. First, you can click the Shape Layers button to create a new vector shape in a layer. Or you can click the Paths button to create a work path. Or you can click the Fill Pixels button to fill in pixels in a raster layer in the desired shape. You can switch which vector-based shape tool you're using by selecting from the buttons right here. We have, for example, the Pen Tool, the Freeform Pen Tool, the Rectangle Tool, the Rounded Rectangle Tool, the Ellipse Tool, the Polygon Tool, the Line Tool, and the Custom Shape Tool. So you just give those a click and you'll see again that the options change. Then you can view whatever options you can set for the tool provided. You can use this small drop down arrow right here for the shape options which you can then set from the menu that appears. Each tool has additional settings here that you can set if you desire. You can use the radius setting to determine the rounding of corners if you've selected the rounded rectangle shape tool right here. Otherwise, you'll see any special options for the currently selected tool in this area of the options bar. Next, in the next section, you can choose what type of interaction you want your shape to have with the shape layer. These buttons right here. You can select New Shape Layer to have the shape that you draw in the image appear in a new layer as an attached vector mask. Click the Add to Shape Layer button to allow the shape that you draw to add its outline to the vector mask attached to the layer currently selected in the Layers panel. If you click the Subtract from Shape Layer button, the shape will be subtracted from the current shape vector mask selected in the Layers panel. If you select the Intersect with Shape area, this one right here, the shape that you draw will only display the foreground color in areas where the shape that you draw intersects other previously drawn shapes in the associated shape layer. And finally, if you click the Exclude Overlapping Shape Areas button, the foreground color will display in the non-overlapping areas of shapes that overlap in the shape layer. The next button is a link right here that allows you to use the settings of the currently selected shape layer to create a new shape layer. You can use this if you create a shape layer, changed the foreground color, and then wanted to create a new shape layer with the same settings versus the default color shown in the toolbox. You can use the style dropdown located here to apply a layer style that will then appear as the foreground fill for the selected shape layer. So you could select any of these, for example, like that. The color text box here launches the color picker dialog box. We've seen this many times where you can select a foreground color for the shape layer when you create the shape. After that, you can usually just click and drag to create a new shape. So you just click and drag like that. 
Now, if you had selected the New Shape Layer option, as we've done, the shape will appear as a new shape layer with an associated vector mask in the Layers panel, down here. Otherwise, it will interact with the current layer selected in the Layers panel in the way prescribed by the options that you set up in the Options bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.